Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rita, if you're new here. Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing, but really it's going to be an unbagging of a bag because I already threw away the box. So we just have the bag itself. It's going to be a Kate Spade purse. This one is the Kathy Medium shoulder bag. So this was released not so long ago, maybe like three months or so. I think this was part of like the Lucy collection, Lucy the Jaguar. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it. But if you know me, I never pick up anything that's full size. I always wait for some full size, full price. I always wait for some kind of sale. This one retailed for $3.58. I did not pay even close to that. I think I got like 30% off of this bag, if I remember correctly. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and unwrap this because I have been waiting to do an actual uh, unboxing, unboxing of this bag. So this is closed and I've been dying to open my new bag. Like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe. We talk about makeup, lifestyle, and we have a lot of unboxings of handbags, reviews. So if that seems like your kind of videos, be sure to subscribe, it is super easy. Just hit this little red subscribe button. Be sure to hit the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. I had to go get my little trusty knife. So this bag, as I was mentioning earlier, I did see it in um, on the website and I was debating between this one and another khaki bag. That is the exact same kind of like colorway, but I don't have any bags like this. Ooh, exciting. So this was a bag, but only seen on the website so i've actually never seen it in person and this looks stunning you guys so beautiful oh my goodness it is definitely on the smaller side look at that that's super tiny uh let me go ahead and open everything i never really buy things thinking that if you know i'm gonna return it but this was the first bag that since i didn't see it in person first i was thinking okay if it's too small I might have to exchange it for a different one, but honestly, wow, just wow. It looked very pretty on the website, but honestly, in person, it's such a classy, classy handbag. It's so pretty. That was this, by the way. So let me go ahead and uh, remove this little, there we go. This is very pretty and I have no bag similar to this, which makes me super excited. I don't own any other shoulder bag that has a permanent, I guess, because you can move this, like a permanent strap, just like this. This is very pretty. And the color combination definitely screams like elegance to me. Like I feel like this looks, <clears throat> sorry, I feel like this looks very, very classy, very elegant. The beautiful white, which is like an off-white, and then the very pretty brown trimming all around it. I mean, oh my goodness. Okay, this is stunning. And on the inside, there's a couple more plastics. I'm kind of like trying to remove everything to show you. And of course, you do get a little bag, like a dust bag. This bag, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this. This is from the retail store, so no outlet. In case you were wondering, and I did get a pretty good deal. Very, very good deal, especially for how beautiful the bag is. I am very impressed. It is pretty small. It looks to be pretty small. Like all of my bag videos, we are going to be filling it up with everything that I normally carry. So we can see how it really works for my kind of bag, I guess, usage. So let me get a little bit closer. How stunning is this? Sadly, sadly, it does not come with feet, which I always have that as a disappointment whenever I have a bag that does not come with feet, especially when it's a retail bag. So I guess, it. I don't know. I have my thoughts on that, but it, it'll be fine. Especially when it's a bag that's fully touching the ground, because some bags, depending on how they are, it's like just smaller or edges that are touching the ground or wherever surface you put. But this kind of bag, it's going to be fully touching the ground or whatever surface you put it on. But I mean, how stunning. Let me show you real quick. The inside is going to be this soft gray, almost microfiber kind of fabric. I don't really know what 
what that fabric is. I'm gonna take these things out, but I need to keep them on my lap because I don't want my doggies grabbing them. <laughs> these are just the silica stuff. It is significantly small. I am, ooh, I'm a little, okay, that did not work. I am thinking this might be a little too small for my, for my lifestyle, but you have a big compartment there, which is the biggest one. And then you've got like an envelope pocket right here, which also has uh, the gray color inside. So let me see. That's very small, so you can probably fit, maybe I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to fit there my little card holder, but that's about it. And then it does have a zipper on the back right here. You can see it right there. So it is kind of hard to show you because it's such a small bag. And then on the back, you have just another pocket. Whoops, okay, this is not being very successful, which I would probably be able to fit my phone very comfortably. Let's take a quick closer look at the bag. So the way you open and close it is gonna be with this very smooth magnetic closure. And it has this very pretty gold tab with a very, similar brown shade to the trim and it has just a Kate Spade um, New York in gold. It is not embossed so you can't really feel it. You can just see it through a little kind of like window. Once you open the bag, you get the Kate Spade New York once again here but this is going to be embossed in a beautiful gold shade and you can feel that on the leather. Moving on to the stitching. That's something that I really liked and I feel like it makes the bag look very expensive. You get this beautiful white stitching all across the edge of the bag so even on the handle it just looks very very stunning very well made i really like the contrast of this off white with the brown and by the way the shade of white is going to be a little more in the off white shade if you're familiar with the, the chalk shade from coach i find that this is just a tiny bit more on the warmer side even so more than the coach just, you know, for reference. And here it is, uh, standing very beautifully. I did mention earlier that there's no feet. To me, that's something very important, so I wanted to point it out again. And then in the back, you also get the pretty white uh, stitches right here on the external pocket. This is not as noticeable because it is on the white leather, but also you can see the stitches, real pretty. It definitely gives it, at least for me, like a more old school, more higher end, more classy bag. Very, very stunning. I'm doing a little bit closer. So here are the basic of the basic products I would carry in my bag. This is just like what I need, regardless of the size of the bag. Like I have to make it work. So I'm gonna put everything on my lap. Let's begin with my card holder. I do have one here from Coach uh, Outlet. And this I am thinking that I can place it in that little section. Let me somehow get in here. So I'm thinking this is going to fit semi-comfortably in here. So we'll see. And yes, it does. It's a little bit on the bigger size for this bag. I can definitely go smaller on my card holder. And up next we have um, my keys, which my keys do live in a pouch. So these are my car keys, my house keys, and this ones would have to be in the middle compartment. So I am struggling here, you guys. I really am struggling. Okay, up next we have my mask, which this one just fits anywhere. Yes, I do still wear my mask. Um, and then we have a hand sanitizer. I have this one that's just like a spray version. And um, I don't think this is gonna fit. I am struggling so much with how small this bag is. Okay, it did fit. I'm gonna show you in a minute because I am literally like sweating here. I had to move, I had to move the card holder from this section to here and this is where I ended up putting the mask. But uh, okay, next we have my little pill case that I take with me everywhere. I usually just carry uh, some Toms and um, like headache, headache medicine. So I'm gonna throw that in there and I just dropped my chapstick, uh, what is a board piece? If I don't fit it in here, which I think I can, I'll just carry it in my pocket at all times, so it doesn't really matter as much, but it does definitely fit. And then we have a pen, which I always carry with me a pen. Next, I grabbed this lipstick because honestly, it's the skinniest one that I own. This one is by Victoria Beckham. And um, even if I got like a thicker, regular bullet lipstick, I think it would fit. 
but just for the sake of it I grabbed that one and then lastly I have my phone which I have the biggest Samsung and the newest one so this is going to be like the note version and um, I would fit that in the back so it doesn't look the best it's not too pretty but I have a couple of bags that I have to use my phone like that and I don't mind it I'm gonna take it out for now just so I can show you and I'm gonna get up because I am struggling so much so here she is beautiful very very stunning I am going to say this it's not gonna be the easiest to put everything of my essentials but honestly the bag is so beautiful that I'm willing to make the sacrifice so let's open it up and like I was showing you earlier, the mask is in here. And then here I ended up being able to fit everything. So we have the car, uh, the, the keys, the pouch, my, um, oh my goodness, I gotta think, my wallet, which is my little um, card holder. And then the rest is going to be there. So very, very tight. I think if I wanted to make this bag more comfortable, I would just take out my keys, which is a little bit of uh, annoying, but I think I would just do that. And I would also switch my card holder to a skinnier one because I do have skinnier card holders that would probably work best with this kind of bag. I'm gonna show you now how it fits on my shoulder. It is a shoulder bag, so this is, this is going to be the only strap that the bag comes with and it is attached to the bag, so you can't really remove it or add a longer, shorter strap. It is, it is how it is. It is a very specific bag, so you can't really multitask or like use it in a different way. It's just one way and that's it. Of course, you can always grab it, you know, as a hand, a handheld bag but it is kind of uncomfortable because it is pretty long it's meant for your shoulder so here I am um, on my shoulder and you can see it fits at a very comfortable angle underneath my arm and also I can rest very comfortably my finger or my hand in the bag and it just looks beautiful only one way of carrying the bag if you like shoulder bags or if you like bags because they are very pretty and you don't mind making a couple little sacrifices whenever you're carrying it, I think it would be great. It is different than I was expecting. It's smaller and it's a little bit harder for me to just fit my essentials, but I don't care. Honestly, I don't care because it is stunning. I don't even want to attempt to carry anything else. Usually I do like a Kindle test, trying to see if my Kindle fits. There's no way, unless that's the only thing you're carrying, and even then, I don't think so. But yeah, here it is, all full and unable to fit anything else. Let me know in the comments if you are considering getting this bag or if you already own it, what are your thoughts? This exact same bag comes in different colorways. I believe there's like a green croc uh, embossed leather, there's a pink, like a more brighter pink, and this one, if I'm not mistaken. I will be leaving the link down below in the description in case you're interested in shopping or just looking at the website with the different colorways it comes in. Well, that's gonna be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!